Hello everyone, Richard Evans here with Caliber Yacht Sales and boy are you in for a treat today. This is Happiness 2, appropriately named as you'll see once we get on board. Happiness 2 is a 2003 Grand Harbor 80, absolutely spectacular. This is one of the most elegant boats that we've ever sold here at Caliber Yachts. It was custom designed and built for none other than Peter Tong, the international developer who insisted on the best of everything. But you know what, I'm getting ahead of myself. Come on aboard, you're in for a treat. Now there's a couple of ways you can board this beautiful boat. Uh, one of them is uh, through the starboard side here. Uh, there is a, a gangway that folds out from these brackets as very gentle stairs coming up here and onto your starboard side deck. And of course the other way is on this very, very large swim grid here. Just uh, step aboard like so. Well protected. We have these uh, staples uh, here to stop you from falling over. And for when your guests arrive in by dinghy, these staples pull out and get stored down below in the cruise quarters. Uh, all of them come out like so. And this is, would make a great diving platform as well. Now this is really cool. Right here in the deck is forward and back to a capstan. And down below is that winch for your stern anchor. And another feature too, um, if for some reason that you're in very, very tight quarters, you could use that to pull the stern into your cleat. It's a well thought out boat. So your shore power cable comes in here uh, with a Glendenning retractable unit to make it very, very convenient. So down below here, we've got uh, your engine room um, and your cruise quarters. And uh, we'll have a look at that a little bit later. But notice the hardware on this door. Everything on this boat is so solidly built. You're gonna love it. Now when you come out uh, from your swim, of course you're gonna to wanna to have a wash down. So you've got hot and cold wash down right here. Very handy. And it's at the right height too. You don't have to sort of bend over to grab it. And hot and cold is totally adjustable, which is kind of nice. Look at the state of this teak deck. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The, uh, the, uh, the the entire boat is in immaculate condition. So moving from the swim grid, notice how wide this uh, staircase is taking us up into the cockpit. Very easy transition, very wide staircase, and just look at this space, will you? You could entertain eight or 10 people just here in the cockpit alone. Fabulous vessel. Absolutely beautifully set up for entertaining or just relaxing with your close friends and family. Watching the world go by. A couple of drinks on the table, maybe some hors d'oeuvres. Beautiful space, rigid hardtop with uh, lots and lots of lighting. And this is really a good idea for the Pacific Northwest. Are these sunshades that drop down and there's also a sunshade that clips into this as well. Now that combined with these acrylic doors when they're closed gives us a very, very good wind protected environment. Nice, eh? Now right here, uh, we've got a cockpit locker, full-size locker. Uh, right now he's got it filled with PFDs and uh, quality, quality build. Look at this smoke glass, safety glass and this beautiful stainless steel. Wow, this boat is nothing less than spectacular. This is access to the bridge deck. It's not commonly used. Better access is from the Sky Lounge. I'll show you where that is. And just look, I, I pointed out the acrylic doors. 
Look at the thickness of these acrylic doors. This is not just a flimsy piece of plastic. This is a full-on door. Talked about the dogs in the cockpit and having those doors closed being a big advantage for them. So you know what? As beautiful as this space is, and you can just imagine yourself out here on a hot sunny day with a vista of mountains and ocean all around you, it's even better inside. Come on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's beautiful. Hey everyone. Wow, well, you just look at this space. It's absolutely gorgeous. What, what a beautiful contrast. These huge windows are just letting in so much light, which is trending today, as you know, having the outside in and the inside out. And so dynamic. Such a strong Asian influence in here with, uh, with this beautiful lighting. And notice this, notice this, these privacy doors that are silk screen, that are backlit. And of course in here, uh, they've got glasses stored, but you can store anything in there. Just lovely. And as big as this huge space is, it becomes even bigger because this table, you know, it recedes into the bulkhead. See that? Let me just pull it out again. And it recedes, by the way, up to about here, which is a perfect size for four people. Right now, six or seven. So dynamic, and when that's collapsed, wow, just a big, big space. Now over here, we've got um, stairs that go down into the private library and study. Yeah, a private library and study, like a salon that is your private little space, an office, or if you just want to get away and just read a book while some entertaining is going on up here, it, you can do that. I love this lighting. Isn't that fabulous? And it blends so perfectly with everything else in this boat. Hey, look at this. Isn't this beautiful how the curve of this couch actually blends in with the curve of the coffee table and the curve of the window. So elegant, just beautifully designed. Just love it. Now above here in the corner, uh, this is um, the reverse air, air conditioning and heat through reverse air. They built it in so beautifully. Look at those vertical slats, for example. By the way, uh, we were filming yesterday, it was very, very cold and we found it very warm in here. So um, there's plenty of heat for fall winter boating. You'll be happy with it. And look at this, again, this molding. Oh my goodness, this blows me away. Uh, this, this beautiful felt above and oh, looks like uh, a dark walnut uh, below and then contrasting with the teak and then this felt blending in again with this beautiful um, Asian influence with this lighting, which will wonderfully contrast with the vertical lighting that you see over there. Now, right here uh, is a great place to prepare your drinks. And uh, why? Why this space? Well, for a couple of reasons. The ice box is right here. Not too many ice makers that I've seen that are that big. And perfectly located. Um, why? Because you can serve drinks to your guests inside or who are outside enjoying the vista and the fresh air. And right across from the ice maker is this beautiful bar sink. And below, what a great space to, uh, to store your bottles. Look at that. Eh? You can get, uh, a, a, this is a pretty big bar. It may not look big, but uh, you could probably get a dozen bottles in there. Isn't that nice? Now over here, look at this again. Uh, just, again, look at these complex curves that just accent the beauty and elegance of this entire boat. But again, glasses right here, close to your bar and so elegant. Now down below, 
used to be a fireplace there, an electric fireplace. It's wired for one if you want to put it back in. But right now, um, I like that. That really looks elegant, doesn't it? Just the way it is. Over here, um, another bar or place uh, for you to store your glasses for books or just about anything that you would want. Now, I, I want to point this out. Here's an extra additional accent, a bird's eye maple, that ties in wonderfully with the coloring in the uh, dining table. And all of this contrasting wood is, it just brings such a, a homey, warm feeling. Now in behind here uh, is a pop-up TV. Uh, switches inside, TV rises like so, and perfectly located so that uh, you can rest and even recline in the corner and watch TV if you wanted to. And I've never been on a boat with such elegant luxury as um, I'm feeling on this boat. So the transition from the salon into the galley is magnificent. Again, all of this wonderful Asian influence. Look at this railing. This railing, all the, all the complex curves that just ties this whole boat together. You have curves here and curves here. Uh, just a marvelous, marvelous experience and feeling in this boat right now. And by the way, getting these curves is very, very difficult to achieve multiple strips of very thin wood that are steamed and bent into the shape and then molded to look like a solid piece of wood. Just magnificent. Have a look at the galley. This is a treat. And nothing, nothing but the best in terms of appliances for the galley. So here in the galley again, look at this beautiful black countertop. And uh, this, this black perfectly accents this beautiful teak wood. And a massive, massive double stainless steel sink with a vegetable washer and a garburetor and uh, reverse osmosis drinking water here. And again, this Asian influence, curved windows. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? Just. Beautiful. It's, you just don't see that on boats today. Microwave above, storage below. And all kinds of storage, cutlery. And by the way, all of this goes with the boat. Big storage below here. And a dishwasher here. Not just a boat dishwasher. This is a full-size dishwasher. Look at that, eh? And needless to say, it's a Bosch. Directly across from that is the full-size oven, as big as big an oven that you would have in your house at home. And we've talked about this, but this is very impressive. If you want to cook with gas, you've got a gas stove or a mealy electric stove or an electric barbecue. Isn't that lovely? Above here we have more storage. Right now they've got a toaster and uh, some, some dishes in there. More storage down below here. Storage everywhere. And a trash compactor. And if that wasn't enough storage space, look at this even more right here. And up here, look at this pop-out hood uh, that blows uh, all of the uh, smoke or anything else that might be coming off the stove directly overboard. And nothing but the best, have a look at this Sub-Zero freezer and look at the size of it. It's massive. You can go away for a month and have enough food on board. But this is just, I'm sorry, did I say freezer? This is the fridge. But there's a freezer exactly the same size as this. And that would be down here. Now over here, we've got not one, but two full-size spice racks. Look at that. 
and here. With a TV so you can watch your cooking shows. And down below here, more storage for larger bottles. So imagine yourself cooking in here. This is the kind of galley that you could create a real chef meal. One of the beautiful things about the galley here and the uh, kitchen nook is you can just pass the food over. You've got uh, your family sitting at the table. So that complex curve in the countertop actually becomes functional. Isn't that clever? More storage. While I'm here, have a look at this flooring. I mean, this is solid wood. This is not a laminate floor. This is just solid wood. It's so well crafted. It's so beautiful. The interior designer on this boat has balanced this entire space by adding a black cabinet over here for storage of dishes and cups and what have you. Also down below, notice the serving platters and everything on this boat goes with the boat. Isn't that nice? Well, that's it for the galley space. Come on with me, I'm gonna show you the Sky Lounge. So the upper helm is up here in the Sky Lounge and it's uh, such a great space. One of the beautiful things about this boat is that there are so many private spaces that you can get to, and this is only one of them. So of course, as you can see, the command and control of the vessel is from the space right here, but I'll get to that in a minute. Just have a look at this over here. While you're underway and uh, piloting this beautiful vessel, just look at the comfort of this space. There are so many places in the boat that are private, that uh, you can get away to read a book or just be on your own, but uh, this, this, this is one of the favorite spots of the previous owner. It's so comfortable here. Uh, notice this space here, uh, which is storage for all the cushions that you saw out on the bridge deck. Um, it's uh, also uh, a great spot to accommodate uh, up to three or four people while uh, you are commanding the vessel from the helm seat. And it's very comfortable, feels good here. All this natural light pouring in here uh, through the hatches and through the back windows. And by the way, those windows open. Uh, the hatch is open for great ventilation, but keep in mind, you do have uh, full environmental control with uh, air conditioning and uh, reverse air heat. Uh, it's a pretty cold day today, um, and uh, I'll share with you just, it's a very, very comfortable warm in here right now. So let's get back to the helm station here. Dual everything. Everything is redundant and backed up here, uh, which, is, uh, which is a great, great system. We've got uh, dual Raytheon uh, screens here uh, for your GPS chart plotter but you also have it for Garmin as well. Over here, uh, we've got autopilot, bow thruster, stern thruster, your ZF controls, electronic controls that are so marvelous to work with. Your wiper controls are here, engine sync here, your cat displays, uh, giving you the health of the engines. Uh, you've got your NIAID uh, stabilizer system here. It works incredibly well, about seven square feet per blade. And of course, we've got uh, your trim tabs right here. So there you go. Everything that you need to run and control this vessel. So imagine yourself in total control of this vessel from the seat. And this is a very, very comfortable helm seat. And it's positioned perfectly to give you access to all of your control and your gauges, all of your displays, everything that you need to run and control this vessel. Now, have a look out here. We're going to go out to this wonderful space. 
So, very easy access to the bridge deck here, uh, of course, from the Sky Lounge. And notice, notice how the quality of this, of this door, again, similar to the door to the salon. It's got this uh, smoked glass with this wonderful quality stainless steel. And I like this, this hatch over top of this space here, fully adjustable, uh, three positions, drops right down for a very uh, secure, weather tight environment in the Sky Lounge. Beautiful, just beautiful and comfortable to move through. Now over here, notice all the seating that we have here in both port and starboard. And just look at this massive space here on the bridge deck. Could you imagine entertaining your friends and family up here? There's room easy, easy for 10 to 12 people up here very comfortably. Imagine yourself in a beautiful anchorage somewhere with the vistas of ocean and mountains around you and a couple of teak tables up here and uh, your friends and family just enjoying all of this. Now behind me here, we've got a, a 13.9 uh, dinghy, a center console with a 50 horsepower four stroke Merc uh, to uh, get you where you're going very, very quickly. Be a lot of fun driving that around. And of course, to get that up onto the bridge deck here, look at the size of this crane. Uh, we've got this 2000 pound electric hydraulic crane, more power than you need to lift that. You can lift a much bigger dinghy up there if you wish. Um, and of course, uh, its ability to lift this spare prop. Now this is not where the spare prop is stored. There are two spare props and a spare uh, shaft and uh, those are stored in a special locker forward on the bow. They've just thought of everything on this boat. Now I also want to point this out to you as well. Uh, notice that if you have a bigger dinghy that you want to put up here, this entire stanchion rail comes out if that is your desire. So right here uh, for uh, cooking up uh, your fish uh, to serve your guests here on the bridge deck is a barbecue uh, with your propane below two 10, 10 pound uh, marinized um, propane bottles there and then storage on the left hand side of that. So I also want to point out that uh, here on the port side on the bridge deck, you've got engine controls forward and reverse as well as your speed controls, rarely used for two reasons. First of all, just on the inside of that, you've got your connection for your wired remote control. You would probably want to use this to walk to the stern of the vessel, and you've got all of your controls, both your engines forward and aft, uh, and your speed controls on your engines, as well as your bow and stern thrusters. So that would be used more, more often. And of course, that uh, you've got your controls right here as well. So up here in the uh, bridge deck controls, it's a great vantage point. It's the uh, highest point in the boat, of course, uh, to operate from. And it's uh, just a fabulous view up here. Just gorgeous. So let me uh, point out uh, some of these controls. Of course, you can see that you have a weather shield uh, protecting all your controls, which is very nice for being outside. Well, let's start here on the port side. Uh, we've got uh, your joystick uh, steering control here, and then uh, your trim tab controls here, engine controls here, and of course you've got your ZF controls here for uh, electronic control of your big cat engines down there. Uh, stern thruster, bow thruster. Just above that we've got your NIAD stabilizers uh, controls uh, on and off here and then your engine monitoring. And of course, just next to that is your VHF radio. So everything that you need for great control and command of this beautiful vessel from up here in the bridge deck and also a wonderful connection with those who are enjoying the experience of your outdoor function here on the bridge deck. Isn't that nice? Wonderful, wonderful space. 
So come on inside, I'm gonna show you the heads and beds. This is one of the two stairways going down to heads and beds. Yeah, so this is the port stairs going down to the accommodations. Very comfortable access. And here is the master cabin. Now notice in the master cabin, again, this beautiful silk screening, which is this incredible Asian influence of peace and tranquility. A massive king size bed and look at the finishing just incredibly beautiful uh, loads of storage just look at this chest of drawers here so beautiful so well crafted into the entire decor here and look at the accent over top of the drawers as well as the accent on the sliding doors that go into your private ensuite complete with fully enclosed bathtub and shower. Just magnificent. And did you have a look at this makeup table with room behind the mirrors to store your cosmetics? Now, coming out of that space, quality throughout this entire boat. Look at this door as we step through the private library and study. If there is a function going on up in the salon or the bridge deck or in the cockpit, this is a beautiful escape to close it off and sit down here with a book or watch TV. And it has its own private head once again. So you don't need to go up and use one of the other five heads. You have one right in this space or if you're using this space to do some work, you've got a desk right here. With these two doors closed, you're totally private. You're experiencing your own space. What a wonderful decor throughout the boat, giving it that, well, once again, that peaceful zen. I really, really like. Look at this, this privacy screen that is over top of uh, the port lights. Now in boats today, normally, that's what you get. But in this boat, look at this compared to this. Look how it just changes the whole feeling and environment in here. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Going out the second set of doors and turning left, we're going into the guest cabin. And here we are. Once again, just a, an incredibly comfortable, warm feeling that can only come from that, well, that Asian influence. It's beautiful. Port lights closed off with these beautiful silk screen covers. And look at the detail over each cabinet. And you've got his and hers. One on port and one on starboard. Notice that headboard. Beautifully lacquered. It looks like cherry wood with multiple, multiple colors of lacquer. And over top, its own light embedded in it. And this marble accent along the sideboard. Where do you ever see a boat finished like this? This is stunningly beautiful. Loads of storage. Not only the cabinets that I showed you above, but these drawers below and under the bed. In here, a full cedar-lined backlit hang-up locker, both on port and starboard. Again, spectacular. Head and fully enclosed shower with a marble seat so that you can actually shower underway if you wish. Vacuum flush toilet, beautifully accented, now finally, for those kids that might be coming along with you, uh, we've got single bunks in the kids' room. Again, well lit, very special accents. And these accents are all unique. Not one accent in the cabin is the same as the other. 
they're uniquely created for this particular space. Full hang-up locker, and again, I just love these silk screen privacy screens. Just beautiful. This cabin has its own head with a separate stand-up shower. And again, the accents in here, look at this cabinet. Every cabinet in every space is unique. What a beautiful boat. So the traffic pattern in this boat is so perfect. All the way from the bottom of the boat, all the way up to the Sky Lounge. So down below here, we've got uh, your engine room um, and your cruise quarters. We've got uh, an over and under bunk, uh, double uh, below, as you can see. A little kitchen sink, microwave, uh, fridge below, and a two burner stove above. This is, this is a comfortable space for the crew, very comfortable. So here in the engine room, you can see there's just a massive amount of space. Look at these big cats delivering 800 horsepower apiece. Uh, they're in very, very good condition, and as you can see, the engine room has been well maintained. Uh, we have uh, three fuel tanks here, down here. We've got one on uh, port and starboard, and we also have um, a center tank here right behind me. And notice that uh, dual rake course for each engine, uh, complete with pressure gauges. Uh, you've got your uh, fireboy system down here, and notice everything is manifolded. Just everything, they've thought of everything, they've got it set up right. This is a good space for you to be working in or to have your skipper come down and he'll be happy that he's got this much room to move around in. So you can see that the vessel has a beautiful balance of materials and design, perfectly balanced with a zen-like experience. Well, didn't I tell you folks, such beautiful, elegant luxury in this 80-foot Grand Harbor. A very dynamic interior space for entertaining and privacy. And this can be yours. Just give us a call, you'll be glad you did.